Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's Clinic. As some of you may know, I'm a non-surgical injectables trainer teaching cosmetic injectables to doctors, nurses and dentists all around Australia from Melbourne to Sydney to Brisbane. And in this series of videos, I'll be sharing with you some safe techniques for injecting anti-wrinkle and dermal fillers. All surgical procedures carry risks and complications, and this is no different to cosmetic injectables as well, where the complications can be as severe as blindness. So therefore, it is really important that you guys go to a fully accredited course to learn your cosmetic injectables training. All right, and that wraps up the forehead and the frown. Great, so as you can see, there are some inflammatory marks there that are red, and there will be a little bit of swelling, but that will settle down after about 15 to 20 minutes, so you can tell your patients that. Obviously, there may be some bruising as well that may occur, because any injection with a needle can cause some bruising, but just reassure your patients that this will settle down over the next few days. So patients are always expected to do a little bit of aftercare after they've had their treatments. It's really important that you stress this to your patients. For example, ask them to keep themselves upright for four hours. So that means don't, lying flat, don't lie flat onto the bed, don't lie down, because what can happen is the product can actually diffuse and it can go into the wrong places, especially if they're rubbing the area as well. You really don't want your hardware Work to be spoiled by some massaging therapy or some microdermabrasions or anything like that. So if the patient is able to hold off from any microdermabrasions for up to a week after treatment, if you can advise them to not touch their face or rub their face or put any lotions or anything like that on their face for at least the next day, then that'll be most desirable for you so that you can get a good cosmetic outcome from your patient. And similarly as well, you don't want a sweaty Betty. So that means girls or boys, if you're gonna be having your anti-wrinkle treatment, don't hit the gym afterwards, don't do a marathon, give yourself a rest day. Come on, you've just had like 20 injections. Do you really wanna be doing that? The reason being, we don't want you to perspire too much because we don't want that product to spread and we don't want you to sort of get your towel and rub it over your forehead, moving that lovely product into the wrong place, causing those nasty complications. So listen to your physician's advice and make sure that you do follow with your aftercare instructions. That being said, diffusion can also occur if your patient has been rubbing the area, if they've been touching the area and they haven't followed your aftercare instructions, always make sure you give them clear aftercare instructions. You'll get patients who have come to you for like five years and they'll say to me, oh, I've, I've never heard of that before. And literally I've told them every single time, but people forget. So make sure you tell them your aftercare instructions. So keep your head upright for four hours, no rubbing or touching of the areas, no lying flat, no massages to the area, no makeup or lotion until the next day, no vigorous exercise again until the next day, and a couple of glasses of alcohol if they need to, but not the whole bottle, because we don't want them falling flat on their faces. You'll typically tend to see changes in the next two to three days with optimal results at two weeks. And typically results will tend to last you about three to five months. On the left, you can see his before picture and on the right, his after. And as you can see, his frontalis muscle no longer has those strong dynamic lines that we saw before. Moving on to his frown, his before picture, he looked pretty angry. And on the right, he doesn't look so angry anymore. That's fantastic. So there you have an anti-wrinkle treatment for the forehead and frown for our lovely patient. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for my next video. Thanks for watching, take care and stay healthy.